Good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here, and it's time for some coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for another day. Hallelujah. Father, we pray that you have your way with us, that you feed us, that you fill us with our necessary food. Thank you for this privilege and this pleasure. We surrender this time to your care. Have your way with us. Enlighten us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Amen. And I pray for enlightenment because there is no more revelation. Yes, as you begin, Paul does say that, you know, God prays that he prays that we would, you know, understand the revelation of the mystery, right? And so, um, yeah, we are being revealed. Things are being revealed to us as we study the word of God. But there's no more revelation in the sense that there is no more, thus saith the Lord. There are no more prophets that speak um, the word of the Lord and, and let's write this down. And because the Bible is still being written, they say, and no, it's not. The Bible is not being written. Hallelujah. The message of the Bible is still coming out, coming forward until Christ returns. Hallelujah. The message of the gospel will continue. Hallelujah. To be preached. Um, but it is the message of the gospel. Whose message is it? Hallelujah. Is it the gospel of Christ or is it just the plain old gospel, right? Hallelujah. Does it matter? Taking out the word, the name Christ, the title Christ, um, does it matter? Absolutely it matters. Hallelujah. Absolutely it matters. It doesn't, I don't care if you know who wrote it. No, it matters. Well, let's look at this. What are we talking about? I'm talking about right here in Romans chapter 1. And I want to give you no shadow there. So I'll read Romans 1.16. In Jesus' name, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. <clears throat> Well, it says the gospel of Christ, okay? And you see, I have a note at the top of the page, which reads, removed in the MCT, the modern critical test. Christ is removed in the modern critical text. Okay, well, let's see. Um, so here is my, this, this is my Greek Bible. This is my Septuagint, if you will. It's not a Septuagint, but it is, it's a Greek Bible. It's the entire Bible in Greek. And here's Romans chapter one. Now this font's really small, but I can read it under good lighting. So here's verse 16 right here. Okay. And we see here, Dioti den um to euangelion to the to Christo Euangelion to Christo okay um Epide I nai Dunamis de O Pros Soterian right and so you see here it says first it says Euangelion to Christo all right it's the gospel of Christ, right? And then it says that it is the power, dunamis, theu, it is the power of God, pros soterian, unto salvation, right? So the gospel of Christ is the power of God, right? The gospel of Christ is the power of God. And so we know that it's the gospel of Christ, right? Because it's repetitive throughout the New Testament. It's the gospel of Christ, the gospel of Christ over and over again. Here in the modern critical text, we'll read, we'll pick up here, and you'll see we're in verse 16 here, all right? And so it reads, and let's see if we can get it there so that you can see the whole text. And so we start here, Ugar epaiskunamai to euangelion, euangelion, dunamis garteu. So 
I'm not ashamed. I ugar epaiskunamai to euangelion. I am not ashamed of the gospel, right? Or it is what? Dunamis garteu. It is the power of God. Esteen ice soterian. Onto salvation. Okay, which is unto salvation. All right, so gospel. The gospel. Is it the gospel of Christ or is it just the gospel? That's a modern critical text translation. Um, I, I picked it up the other day. I thought it was it's a nice, beautiful Bible with uh, yep, and it's it's an older version, but it's in great condition. I'm actually going to treat it. I'm going to keep it because I'll use it to show you why you need to trust the Byzantine text, why you need to trust the King James Version, why you need to trust those Bibles taken from the Textus Receptus, the Byzantine text tradition, all right? Because that's what the modern critical text does. That's what Codex Sinaiticus does. And folks, if it's not in Codex Sinaiticus, it won't be in here. If it's in Codex Sinaiticus, that's what you're going to find here. So, and because modern critical text scholars have sold it to the world as being trustworthy because of its age, right? Um, then people just up and just don't trust the King James Version anymore. Nah. But the modern world is falling in line with this modern critical text, you know, rendition of the scriptures. And uh, we need to stand our ground. We need to teach and preach the truth so that people are not deceived and drawn away by the lie. Hallelujah. Folks, the King James Version is the most trustworthy English translation you will ever read. It will not change. It doesn't need to change. You don't need to update it. If you can't, if you can't read it, I don't understand that. If you can read, then you can read the King James Version. It's a 12th grade reading level. Maybe some of you didn't get to 12th grade. Okay, I get it. I know children that are growing up in the Word, and all they read is the King James Version, and they love it. They love it. Hallelujah. Your children should love it, too. You should love it as well. Hallelujah. Because it is. Hallelujah. The gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, to everyone who believes, right? Mm, Got to know that, right? Because it says, to everyone who believes, everyone that believeth, pistuo, surrendered to Christ. That's pistuo. That means to surrender your spiritual well-being. That doesn't mean to just have a mental ascent. It means to surrender your spiritual well-being. You know, you look at it one more time and you see, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it. What is the gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek. So amen. Hallelujah. Hey, I hope that's a blessing to you. I hope that that strengthens you. That encourages you to press on, hallelujah, to put down those modern critical text translations and to pick up a King James Version. Hallelujah. Um, I don't, uh, a brother, uh, a dear brother, Pastor Dwayne, is always looking into um, the critical text to find out why words are missing and things of that nature. And he believes in a Byzantine text form, but he believes in that Robinson Pierpont. He trusts that Robinson Pierpont Byzantine text. Um, and it's tampered with the Word of God. It has changed the Word of God. It's taken out the Kami Yohanium. I hope and pray that his new Greek translation that he's doing holds the Kami Yohanium. Um, retains the Kami Yohanium because hallelujah, it's there. It's scripture, folks. It was never intended to be taken out. Oh, that I pray for a text that would be found that has the comma, like a Greek text, right? We have 
Coptic, Egyptian. We have Eastern manuscripts that were found, uh, that German manuscripts that were found, that there's so much evidence in favor of the comma um, that to just ignore it is ignorance in and of itself. Um, yeah, so, hey, listen, I hope that this has been a blessing to you. Um, I could keep going and going and going. Um, Jesus loves you. I love you. And I hope and pray that you have a great rest of your day. Hallelujah. Pick up a KJV. Hallelujah. And trust it for it is the power of God. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. We love you. Have a great day, folks. Come back again where we can share more coffee with the scriptures. Hallelujah. Have a great day in Jesus' name.